And here we go, some more breaking news coming out of Minnesota as they desperately needed to add some depth to their interior defensive line. According to Tom Pelissero, the Vikings are signing defensive tackle, formerly of the Raiders, Jerry Tillery, to a one-year deal worth about $3.7 million, a new home for a former first round pick now this is a very interesting signing not not anything that's going to absolutely move the needle by any means but is something that they needed to get done now in this video we're going to break down everything that you need to know about jerry tillery as well as why it kind of helps them going forward but before we jump into the video do me a favor and comment down below a letter grade for the vikings so far this season and also subscribe if you're new it's free doesn't cost anything and we're going to be covering the vikings for the rest of the season so with that being said let's jump right into the video okay so the first thing you notice about jerry tillery is you know he's 6'6 295 pounds interior defensive lineman okay now what he does well all right, I don't want to say good, I don't want to say great, but well, is getting to the quarterback, right? Not much of a run stuffer, doesn't really, is not known at all for being someone who can clog up the middle. But in terms of his quickness, his pace, the way he uses his feet, he can get to the quarterback at a quick level. However, with that being said, not consistently okay and that's pretty much been his story in the nfl he has shown amazing potential at times to get to the quarterback but never on a consistent basis and that's the one knock on jerry tillery a little bit of a hothead as well at times but he can control it right now the minnesota vikings are a team in a very interesting position right they lose the nail hunter in free agency to um I honestly forget where he went already it's been i've been covering every single team but the hunter is gone he is on a new team leaving them a little bit open on the D-line, right? Jerry Tillery can play inside. He can play a little bit outside, especially in a 3-4 defense, which is exactly what the Vikings are, right? You see him right here lined up to the outside. He can be a very solid end. He can be a little bit of a defensive tackle as well if you need him to be. But like I said, he's more of a rusher than a run, run stopper, right? Now, the main reason you make this move is because you have no depth, right? Jonathan Bullard, Harrison Phillips, Jacqueline Roy. That's it. That's all you have on your D-line. You needed to make a move like this just to establish some sort of depth. Now, I don't think he's going to be a day one starter. I think what you want and what you envision Jerry Tillery to be is someone who can, you know, be a spot starter. Someone who can, you know, if someone's hurt like a, ja a Jacqueline Roy or a Jonathan Bullard, if they're hurt, he can come in and start a game right as well as being a rotational depth piece so keeping other guys you know well rested stamina up right he can come off the bench and give you a solid 15 to 20 snaps and give you some good snaps as well right not just some some random ones so i do think this is a solid a solid signing i also believe that you know in the nfl sometimes all you need is you know, a change of scenery, right? Sometimes you see a guy who has struggled through his NFL career go to a new team and suddenly they look really good, right? That could be the case with Jerry Tillery. A former first round pick, number 28 overall to the LA Chargers, has not been a first round pick productive wise, but he can be, right? Who knows what's going to happen with this Vikings team and who knows, maybe he becomes a starter, right? I think the Vikings have done a really good job, uh, you know, revamping this defense with Andrew Van Ginkle, Blake Cashman, and Jonathan Grenard. Uh, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, man. Sam Darnold, Aaron Jones, uh, decent additions. They, they, uh, I'm, let me know what you guys think. Do they need another quarterback? Some people believe Sam Darnold could be the option or the savior. Ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.